just when our fort dunks were getting washed out. Get it? Acid wash? Washed out? Too many dunks? No? Let's just start. Perfect. Hello there broskies, Erkin back here yet again. And on today's episode, we are having a look at the Nike Dunk High in this acid wash red colorway. We have been so spoiled over the past couple of years when it comes to dunks, but is it too much? Now these did release here in the UK on the 20th of August and these do retail for £115. And I've got to say, as soon as I saw this colorway, I was all over it, honestly. But there are a couple things I wish I could change, but we'll get more into that later. First of all, let's get into the box. Not literally get in, but we're talking about the box. Let's talk about the box, not get in. How old am I? I wouldn't fit. Now this box of course doesn't come in your conventional Nike box and I'm all for it. I'm a real sucker for a limited edition box or something different by the brand that I'm buying from. But the box does primarily come in this black colour with so many other things that are going for it. Such as the Nike sportswear branding slapped all over the top. Stating that it is high quality and of course it being a dunk drawing its inspiration from the 1985 cut. But popping this bad boy gives you a nice pleasant experience. It's got these gradient colours inside of the boxes and this nice Nike checkered tissue paper as well. But on the product sticker it does read Nike Dunk High 1985 Special Project and the official colorway is University Red and Chili Red. Now if you are trying to pay resale for these or even wait for a restock you might just be thinking about the sizing and unfortunately for me I could only get an eight and a half in a UK and my normal size is a nine but personally I would have still went true to size with these. They do fit but they're a little too snug for my liking anyway so even though it is of a different cut these are still, in my opinion, true to size. Right, time for my favorite part of the video, the nitty gritty of this bad boy. Let's take an even closer look. Now, like I have mentioned, the 1985 cut is somewhat very different to what we've had of recent. There are some subtle differences that you can already see. These are a lot higher in terms of how they sit towards your ankle. And also it's a lot more curvier towards the back. The tongue is higher as well. And also the midsole is a lot thicker. And the last subtle touch I would say that is different is the cut of the toe box. It's way more narrow as well. But going around this eye-catching silhouette, this OG inspired colorway was of course inspired by the UNLV. And the lows didn't drop too long ago either. But I've got to say straight away, as soon as I touch these panels on this silhouette, Wet, the leather just feels so smooth. Nothing like most of the GR dunks that we've had lately, they're just so plasticky. But the acid inspired tie dye look to the overlays does give it a new dimension in terms of the actual colorway. And even though some of the panels do feel different to some others, there is just a level above when it comes to the quality of all of them. But going to the lacing, these do come with a spare set of gray laces that do match the mid panels and the underlays. But other than the red ones it does come with, I would actually put white laces in. I think that would make these pops so much more. But going to this nylon tongue in this grey colour with the old school Nike branding just on top, it's defo got those old school vibes to the ankle collar and also inside of the tongue as well. But it is this Nike branding tiled all on top of the insole. Now going to the heel counter, it's a lot lower towards the back than it is the front. But again we've got that traditional setup with that semi pull tab in that red, just where those Nike swooshes meet. Now this is the part of the shoe that I kind of wish they went in a different direction. Don't get me wrong, I'm really feeling in that age look on some sneakers. But the colour of this midsole, it just reminds me of cheese, I don't know why. There's aged and then there's this colour, I just don't know what they did. But as you can see, this midsole is a lot more chunkier than normal. And the outsole sort of protrudes over a lot more than your normal dunk as well. But of course, this outsole does consist of this red colourway. So now that you've seen some of the differences with this silhouette versus the recent dunks that we've had, how do these really pair up? And of course, the most important question is, are these a buy or a buy? 
So when I first saw pictures of these online, I was like, nope, I'm not even gonna wear these, even if you paid me. But as I saw some reviews and some more pictures, and of course, after getting these in hand, my head and its missing hairline was spun around quicker than Kylie Minogue. But there is still a couple things I wish I could change. Number one, being the midsole. The color of it is just not for me. I really wish they went for a white one or even went for a cell color to make it look aged. And the only slight nitpick I can say, but it's more something you have to get used to, is how narrow these bad boys are. These are a lot more narrow compared to normal dunks. And for me, I don't really like that feeling. I'm more on the narrow side with my foot, but even then, I just wish these weren't as narrow. But take that with a pinch of salt. These trainers might just need some wearing in. But overall, broskies, there's a lot more to like with this silhouette than there is not to like. Even though this acid wash look might not be for everyone, but you can't deny the inspiration for the colorway. That UNLV inspired color is just something very special. And even though they did bring out that other colorway with it, I'm curious to see what other colorways do come out in this style. Can you imagine the Michigan colorway in this acid wash? Oof. That would be something nice. But overall, broskies, I am a fan of this acid wash red colorway. I am indeed going to give these a bye. But I am interested to know what your thoughts are. Are you digging this acid wash look to a classic silhouette? Did you end up getting this pair or the other colorway? Or was this a total miss? Leave it all down below and I will be pinning the best comments. Well broskies, thank you for stopping by and thank you even more for watching this far. Don't forget, hit me up on my IG as well because I am most active on there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And of course, until the next episode, take care.